guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to be showing you the build on my PC. Um, sorry about how it sounds, I have a cold right now. So, um, first I'm going to show you the parts. I'm not going to get too in depth with them because I'll leave all the parts in the description as well. Um, so I guess what we can start out with is the PC case. It's a Vivo, Vivo ATX PC case. I'll show you. This is the um, case here. It's um, got USB 3 and 2 um, built into the front, on the very front of it. Um, the processor I'm using is this AMD uh, FX series. It's the 8320E. It's the 8 core of the share processor. I think it's a 3.2 gigahertz. Um, yeah, this is the black edition. I'm going to leave this in the description as well. So, uh, yeah, um, that's the processor. Uh, I'm using 8 gigs of G Skill RAM, 240 pin. Uh, my processor that I'm using is the, um, it's an Asus M5A78L. Dash M and it has USB 3. Um, it holds up to 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and it has the AMD 3 Plus socket. Um, six SATA ports. Um, so this is the motherboard that I'm going to be using. Set that up here. The power supply that I'm using is an X lead power supply. It's a 650 watt. Um, from my calculations, this computer should go nowhere near that, so this should be plenty enough for what I want to be doing. Uh, so, yeah, this also has a built in fan to the top. The cooler is just this right here. It's a deep cool. It's uh, pretty simple. I might do a water cooled system. I'm not too sure yet. So uh, that can always be upgraded later on. I don't have an SSD right now. I'm using. I have two, one terabyte uh, Seagate drives, and then also a um, three terabyte Seagate drive. Um, I'm gonna use this for my main hard drive to have a uh, Windows 10 on. Um, so pretty much that's it. I'm not putting a CD drive in this because I rarely reuse those. So uh, yeah, let's get to the build. Alright guys, so I guess our next step is to put the CPU in. Alright, so our next step is we're going to put the thermal paste on. Put on the um, the heat sink.
All right, so the next step is we're going to put our RAM in. Alright, All right, so I guess our next step is I'm going to install the motherboard in the um, case. So next we're going to be installing the power supply. everything up either for the um, side, side panel and I got up all the I hooked up all the USB and HD audio on the front mounted the hard drives inside and that's pretty much it uh, I'm gonna get to the installing Windows 8 so I'll show you guys that in a minute Alright guys, so as you can see now, right now we're installing Windows 7. Um, I think the, <coughs> excuse me, the only reason I'm doing that right now is actually because when I read online, I was having a little bit of trouble installing, um, trying to install Windows 8 from a flash drive on this, and what I was thinking was wrong was when I read about it online, it said that Windows 7 was the latest software compatible with the um, motherboard. And also I noticed that there is an update for this motherboard with the FX series processors. So I'm thinking that might be the issue. So I'm going to try to get something installed in here. So I'm going to install Windows 7 first. Then try to update my BIOS and everything. And then um, try to install Windows 8 after that. Uh, but as far as it looks now, it seems to be installing everything okay and it seems to be running pretty good. I'll give you a we'll see, show you what it looks like underneath. So this is the PC right now. Don't mind the wires and everything. Uh, I know it's a mess. Um, I, this doesn't have Wi-Fi. Any a Wi-Fi chip, so I'm just going to use Ethernet, which is fine with me because it's not going to be moving at all. Um, so as you can kind of see from the front, just the, um, this is the front of it with that, uh, the blue fan down in the bottom front. It's got two USBs on the front and the USB 3.0, which like I said, it stinks that you can't use it because it doesn't, the motherboard doesn't support a uh, USB I.O. port, but it does have two of them on the back, which is, you know, it's better than nothing. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if I have anything else to throw in the video, I'll definitely throw that in there. So, uh, but for now, thanks for watching.